Welcome back guys, Mike from LA1 here as we are continuing our coverage of the main event and we're going to have a battle royal to determine the first ever jobber championship and no you're not seeing things all Lee Ghirardelli is leading the Smackdown section because there will be four Smackdown superstars and two Raw superstars because Leo wanted in in this match besides he's not a jobber so and you guys want to see, I'm hoping the glitch doesn't happen again. Which we saw, which has yet to be uploaded. As I am recording this. And here comes David Otunga. Wait, why is he getting cheered? Yeah, this is going to be really funny if D either David Otunga or Heath Slater wins this match. And here comes Ali Ghirardelli. Oh, man. This is not the championship I don't want to win. So I'm hoping Ali loses. I am not a jobber. And here comes Ali. And... And he, Ollie is getting the booze that he truly deserves after trolling you guys out of a San Diego Chargers victory in my owner mode series, which that next episode will come a little bit later on. As of, in fact, in two in the next two minutes, it will come back tomorrow because we're only two minutes away from midnight. And oh, here we go! And uh, look out! Wait, not not right. Oh, look out! There you go. And Ali's just, yeah, he is not the guy you don't want to mess with. And speaking of people you don't want to mess with, how in the world are they going to... Now, thinking of uh, things that need to be placed, how are they going to get Brodus Clay out? How are they going to get Brodus Clay over the top rope? This should be very interesting. It's, and also, it's time to get funky. And yeah. And there's no Funkadactyls, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. And, and there's Brodus in all of his pixelated glory. Up oh, is back. And next, here comes Leo. And here comes Leo, and hopefully, and hopefully the thing doesn't work. Well, oh, of course it doesn't work. We get the glitch again. Captain Falcon. Yep, we got that glitch again. Jeez, why does this glitch always keep happening? And oh, we got a good, a different aerial view this time. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna keep getting that glitch. <laughs> now watch, we're probably gonna keep getting that glitch all the time. And no, Randy Orton is not in this match. Because he doesn't deserve it. It's max power, ladies and gentlemen. Could he be your jobber champion? Although it's nice to hear Randy Orton sing on the old uh, stage there. As he is the Mike from LA1 Network's own legend killer. So here we go. It's time for a battle royal. Let's see 
who will be the first one to get eliminated. And the reason why I'm saying that is because whoever is the first one eliminated in this match will get a future title shot of a, out of a Mike from LA1 champion of their choosing. And oh, do we have an elimination already? Oh, please, I do not want to see Ollie get a championship opportunity. Please. Oh, he's still in good. And boy, right now, so far, so good. And we don't know which one is getting a title opportunity. And it looks like at this point, maybe Ali. Nope, we're good. There goes Leo. No, Leo is still in it. And this so far, we don't know who's going to get the title opportunity. Who the first one that loses. Uh-oh, look at Ali. Is he going to get eliminated first? Nope. And look at Heath Slater. Well, he was in a match earlier. No! Uh-oh. Look at Max Power. He's trying to eliminate David Otunga. Will Otunga get a title opportunity? At a champion of his choosing. Is it gonna happen? Is it gonna happen? No! He's still hanging on. But it looks like his chances of getting a future title opportunity may be coming and there it is day as David Otunga David Otunga will get a title opportunity of a Mike from LA1 custom championship well at least David Otunga is yet to hear the news but boy I bet right now since he didn't hear the news He's probably very happy, and Leo is out. So, so much for Leo. Oh, well, but I was surprised Ali got that elimination. And we're now down to the final four. Brodus Clay, Max Power, Heath Slater, surprisingly, and Ali Ghirardelli. Huh. And there goes Brodus. Oh no. And there goes Heath Slater. A valiant effort by Heath Slater. And uh oh. No, I do not want to fight for the Jobber Championship. And oh good, thank you. Good, thank you. Come on, come on, get out, of, fight out of it, Max. Come on, I don't want to win the Jobber Championship. Yes. Yes, thank you. Okay, I'm pretty much sure it's inevitable. I'm going to fight for the Jobber Championship. Doggone it. Oh, well, looks like right now Ali is... Yes, he got it. And there are the boos. There are the boos. As Ali Ghirardelli wins the, the Jobber Championship. I did not want that to happen. I did not want that to happen. Uh, I'm not jobbing. 
but the bad news is somebody's probably gonna but who knows maybe David Otunka may challenge may want to challenge Ollie to win the Jobber Championship but we have yet to hear and he has he just got informed about the decision so looks like Max may not have to cash in his rematch may not have to cash in his rematch after all if that is, if it is what I'm thinking he's doing. So next up is Fabian Carmichael versus Charlie Westbecker. This will be the first time we're seeing Fabian in one-on-one -on -one action. Well, for Westbecker, this will be the first time we've seen him since the epic TLC match on Monday Night Raw. And here comes Fabian. And here comes this cheap pyro. Yeah, the cheap pyro everywhere. Personally, if this was the Goldberg, this would be really better with the Goldberg attire. But, oh well, I guess somebody else is going to get it. And next, here comes one of our newest champions. You'd yes, it's Charlie Westbecker. The Mad Tea Party Champion, Charlie Westbecker. So this is a non-title match here for here for Fa here for here for Charlie. But however, should he win, should Charlie lose tonight, Fabian will get a title shot in the very near future. But right now, the, but this is going to be a tough match here here for Fabian. And oh, breaking news, if you guys have downloaded the WWE app, David Otunga has decided on his championship, and yes, it is what we expected. It is official. It'll be... It'll, it is official. It'll be Ali Ghirardelli versus... Ali... David Otunga versus Ali Ghirardelli for the Jobber Championship. But there is going to be a stipulation for this match. The match will take place inside a steel cage. Yes, we're going to have a steel cage match. So that way Ali has a preview. As a preview. As a preview for that match. And also as for Leo. And there goes Fabian. As for the, as for Leo, he has decided on his has yet to uh, has yet to choose. So it looks like Vicky Guerrero may announce it on Superstars a little bit later on this evening. So here we go. Here, look at it. Look at baby it. And he just hit the referee. I'm surprised he didn't get disqualified. Wait, look at Fabian. Look at this. Top rope DDT. Oh, that's a jawbreaker. Excuse me. So here we go. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, long day. And look at, look at Fabian. What a DDT. And uh oh, submission here. Camel Clutch made by famous by WWE Hall of Famer. Iron Sheik and look out. Look at that. 
That's what we like to see. And actually, if you guys download the WWE app in video game land, you could tell that Mark Henry has decided that he isn't cashing his in in his rematch on Friday Night Smackdown. But there's going to be a special guest referee. It'll be either Sally Mae or Clem Clodhopper. So you guys get to choose. Who would you like to see as your special guest referee? Will it be Clem or will it be Sally Mae? Look out. Okay, if this match ends in a count out, okay, nope. We're good. Look at this. What is up with the AI here? Come on. Oh, jeez. What an attack. Oh, jeez. I think Fabian may have been injured. Neckbreaker. And I think that should do it. Can somebody please pin him here? And there's an elbow drop. Or a butt drop. Whatever you call it. And here's Fabian. Oh, look at Fabian. Fabian is still dominating here. And look at the blood. And we're going to have another count. Ugh, come on, could somebody please end this match? Because I gotta get ready to start sending up the card. Oh, man! This is not a last man standing match. Oh man, and a more leg damage for Fabian. Are you getting me? DDT! And look at Fabian, this may be a count out victory for the champ. Or oh, no, no, wait a minute, no it isn't. Uh oh. And a DDT back for Wes Becker. Oh man. This could be a pin here for Fabian. And one, two, three. Fabian Carmichael has pinned the Mad Tea Party champion. Oh man.
So it looks like and it, he will get a Mad Tea Party title shot in the very near future. And a valiant effort by Charlie Westbecker. And our next match will be coming up right after this.